Windows 11 is a great operating system to use, but not everything works perfectly all the time. My name is Yadullah, you're watching Canada Technology, and in this video, we're talking about how you can fix a crackling sound coming from your laptop. Now, the first thing we're going to do is uh, check drivers in the device manager. To do this, press Windows key plus X to open up the quick access menu and head over to device manager. In here, we're going to expand the audio inputs and outputs section and you need to find the particular audio device that you're using. Uh, in your case, it will be something like speakers or system speakers like the one I'm using here. Right click and then click on update driver. Then click on browse my computer for drivers and uh, then uh, select this option right here. Now, uh, you will see something like audio endpoint here. Uh, if you don't, you will see a generic software device. Anything of these work. If you see audio endpoint, select it. Go ahead and click on next. And uh, as you can see, Windows has uh, successfully updated my drivers and audio endpoint is up and running. And now when you play audio from your speakers, you should be able to listen it just fine. If that doesn't work, the next step is to roll back the drivers because uh, a new driver update might have also caused this. To fix that, uh, once again, open up device manager, find your device, right click and then click on properties. In here, head over to the driver details section. And now as you can see, the rollback driver option is disabled because I just updated it to the legacy driver. But uh, if you see this option present, click on rollback and that should probably fix your issue. Otherwise, you can just always go ahead and update your driver as usual and uh, this might fix the problem. If that doesn't fix your problem either, we are going to make some fo sound format changes. So to do this, press the Windows key to open up the search menu and I'm going to type in mmsys.cpl and press enter. This will open up uh, the sound uh, section of your control panel. Select the device that you want to work with and then click on the properties section. Now in here, we are going to the advanced section here and under the default format, set the best format possible. So the highest bit rate and uh, the highest frequency. As you can see in this uh, case, it's 24 bit 48,000 Hertz for you. It might be different. You can also experiment uh, with other sound uh, bit rates and frequencies. Whatever works best for you, go ahead and you can use the test button to test out the different bit rates. And uh, one of these should be able to fix your problem. If that doesn't work either, the next step is to take a look at your advanced power settings. Now, this is a solution that may or may not work for you. But uh, essentially what we're going to do is once again, press the Windows key and this time we're going to type in edit power plan. I'm going to select the first option. And here, click on change advanced power settings. And now under processor state management, you will see this minimum processor state. Uh, make sure that this is set to 100% because this is the minimum performance state of your processor in percentage and sometimes audio crackling can happen because your processor isn't giving it enough use or giving it enough uh, power. And so that's what we're going to work on. So just update these numbers to 100% right here and then click on apply, click on OK and that should fix your problem. Finally, if that doesn't work either, uh, you can try changing your power plan. As weird as it might sound, this does fix the issue for some people. So uh, come to your power options in control panel. Uh, you can use the same edit power plan uh, option and then come back to it. And in here, we're going to change our power plan. Now, as you can see, I only have one power plan and that's because power settings on my particular laptop are uh, managed by the Omen Gaming Hub. Yours might be different. So if you see a high performance plan here, go ahead and select that. If you're already on the high performance power plan, check to see if balanced can give you a uh, better audio. And then you can, from there, you can uh, upgrade your performance or like overclock or make the changes that the high performance plan does while retaining the settings of the balance plans in order to be able to fix the issue. If you like this video, consider subscribing, give us a thumbs up, press the bell icon and tell us in the comments below what more such videos can we make for you. If you'd like to know more about tech, 
visit our website candid.technology follow us on social media follow me on instagram or twitter and we'll see you in the next video